It's the single greatest threat from severe thunderstorms. I'm not talking about hail or wind or tornadoes. I'm talking about flooding. This week, we continue our severe weather series with a discussion on some potentially life-saving information about flooding on Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back this week to answer your questions about the weather. Severe weather season is upon us here in the United States, and that means very nasty thunderstorms that can bring hail or wind or tornadoes with them. However, today we're going to focus on one of the most deadly types of severe weather known to man, floods. Did you know that more people die every year from flooding than from any other type of thunderstorm related hazard? So now you can understand why it's important we talk about flood safety. So now let's talk about the different types of floods that are out there and what you can do to stay safe. For the most part, floods are lumped into two different categories. There's general flooding and there's flash flooding. General floods are the types of floods that take days to develop and they're most common around the banks of rivers. Usually during these types of floods, heavy rain or snow will fall well upstream from the affected area. As that heavy rain drains into the river or the melting snow drains into that river, all of that water that's being added to the river flows downstream. Eventually, the water gets to a point in the river that's not large enough to accommodate the increase in the amount of flow. That forces the river to rise and eventually that water spills out over its banks and into the surrounding area. And that's what we call a floodplain. If it's a rural area, crops or livestock are affected. However, many of the world's largest cities are built on the banks of rivers. When these floods happen in urban areas, it can cause millions of dollars in damage and can displace people for weeks or months at a time. Since these types of floods take a long period of time to develop, that usually means people have ample time to prepare and evacuate the area if need be. That means the fatality rate with these types of floods is fairly low. Flash floods, as the name would suggest, happen much quicker and without much warning. That means that the fatality rate with these types of floods is much higher. Usually with these types of floods, they're caused by a thunderstorm that's just hovering over an area for a long period of time, just dumping tons of rain on that one particular spot. And because that spot can't handle all the additional water in that one location, the storm channels and the rivers and streams that drain water away from that area aren't large enough to accommodate all that increase in water. And that's when flooding happens. Another cause of flash flooding can be the failure of a dam or a levee. If these types of structures were to breach, anyone who lives downstream from these types of structures can find themselves in rapidly rising water with very little time to evacuate. So now that we know the different types of floods that are out there, let's talk about how you can stay safe during these types of severe weather events. First things first, pay close attention to the forecast, especially if you live in an area that's prone to flooding. If you hear that heavy rain is moving towards your area and you know that flooding is pretty common there, you need to be prepared to take action if you start to see those water levels begin to rise. If a flood warning or a flash flood warning is issued for your area, you need to move to higher ground as quickly as possible. Depending on the type of warning, you may not have much time to gather your belongings and evacuate. And this is probably the most important thing to remember when it comes to flood safety. If you're driving and you come across water that's covering a roadway, do not drive through it. It only takes about two feet of moving water to sweep your car off the road. So make sure that if you see that water covered roadway, remember the rule, turn around, don't drown. And also if you're out walking and you come across rapidly moving water, make sure that you don't walk through it. It only takes about ankle deep rapidly moving water to sweep you off your feet and downstream. So make sure that you remember that rule again. If you come across that rapidly moving water, turn around, don't drown. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have a weather related question, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and maybe rate it or share it with your friends. And you can also subscribe to the channel here on YouTube so that you can stay up to date when I post a new video. I do that every Wednesday. And you can keep the learning going on Facebook and Twitter at Weather101Net. 
That's where you'll find a new weather word of the week every Monday and a new weather fact every Friday. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Until next time, see ya!